Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 12, lesson 2, hands on sides and angles of triangles. You know guys, triangles have three sides and three angles. So we will measure these sides using the ruler, like this one, the ruler and we will measure the angles using the d-shaped protector i will show you this page number is 909 okay so we need the we need two tools today to measure the sides and angles to measure the sides we need the ruler like this one here on your screen and to measure the angles we need a tool like this this one the d-shaped protector this one. okay so here on the first page we will use the dish uh, the ruler so let us close this one okay now here boys see this we will measure these sides of triangles so how we measure guys see this one the zero on one corner and check where is the other corner here, like this Okay, my book is zoomed a little bit, so it will show you big. Actually, it is, uh, let me fix the zoom to show you guys. Still, I need to fix it more. Okay, still it is, we will put the zero on one corner and on the other corner, we will see how many centimeters, like this boys. The zero on the one corner and on the other corner, it's must be three centimeters, like this. Here. Similarly, you will put your ruler here on the other side, like this, and check it three centimeter and this one three centimeters similarly put your ruler here check how many how much two centimeter like that okay so my book is zoomed boys that's why it is showing bigger but in your book it will show two centimeters but the idea to measure it that put the zero we are using the centimeter side okay the centimeter side of a ruler so you will put the zero on one corner and on other corner you will see here it's showing three centimeters because uh, my book is zoom but if you check in your book you will find the other corner at two centimeters got it guys similarly here you will put your ruler to check this one it's showing here three centimeter but in your book you will see it is two centimeter my book is one centimeter bigger here showing four centimeter one centimeter bigger so it's actually three centimeters so this is how we measure the sides of the triangles you will measure put your rulers on the sides and check the measurements okay so what are the differences compare the side length of each pair of triangles above what do you notice Pair A, all sides are congruent. Congruent means equal. In pair A, you can see all the sides are congruent. In pair B, two sides are congruent. Two sides are equal. You can see this one and this one is equal. The other one is not equal to them. So only two sides are congruent. Two sides are congruent. In pair C, no sides are congruent. All are different sides. So in pair C, no sides are congruent. So guys, when all sides are congruent, we call it equilateral triangle. We call it equilateral triangle. When all the sides of a triangle are equal, we call it equilateral triangle. When two sides are congruent, like this one and this one, two sides are congruent, we call it isosceles triangle. And when no sides are equal, all are different length, so we call it scalene triangle. Okay. 
Similarly here, boys, on the next page, we will measure the angles. How we measure the angles? Using the D-shaped protector here. Okay. See this, boys, now here. If I want to measure this angle, so I will put the zero on this baseline here, this baseline, and put this middle point of the D-shaped protector exactly on the corner, like this. See boys, the zero is on the line and the middle exactly on the corner. So it is 90 degree. Here we write 90 degree. Similarly, if I want to measure this corner, this angle now, this angle, so I will check, put the zero. Now I will use this, the zero of this side because the line is on this side. When I was measuring this angle, the zero I used from this side okay so when I put my protector here see boys the zero here now it is 0 10 20 and 30 degree. so here we write it is 30 and degree this small circle shows degree similarly if I want to measure this angle so I will put the zero line here on this line and I will check this line at which angle so I will move my D-shape protector like this and here the zero on the line and we will check this line on what? Here it is, 60. We put this zero on the line so we check from this zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We will not check from this zero. If you check from this zero, the top, you will reach at 120. It is the outer angle but we are measuring the inner angle, the inner side. So we put this zero on line, so we start from this zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So similarly, guys, in this way, you will measure all the other angles and then solve it and match your answers from this video. Okay, in pair A, each have one right angle. Right angle means equal to 90 degree. In pair A, you can see you have 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree means right angle. In pair B, we have obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means what, boys? Any angle which is greater than 90 degree, like this one, 120, it is greater than 90, this one, 120, greater than 90. So these are obtuse angles. And in pair C, all acute angles. Acute angle means less than 90 degree. So you can see here in pair C, all the angles are less than 90 degree. Here is the definition of polygon. Triangle is a closed figure made up of three line segments that do not cross each other. Similarly here boys in independent practice, solve all these questions. In the first four you will find the lengths of the triangle, the sides of the triangle. And down here you will find the angles, the angles of the triangles for these four questions. You have to find it using your D-shape protector and then match your answers from this video. Okay, next page here. Uh, if the total parameter is 18 inches and it is equilateral triangle, all sides are congruent, so you'll divide by 3, 6 inches. Measure the angle, guys. You can see all are smaller than 90. It is 60, so this is an acute triangle. And uh, similarly here, measure the sides of triangle, then describe the number of congruent sides in exercise 13. Okay. And uh, which one is different? In these three, you have two sides congruent, but here all sides are different. And here is some explanation. So I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.